All right, so the next thing is I want us to learn about more features, a little bit of an advanced feature of how to use ChatGPT. So in this case, I want us to cook something or to provide a shopping list that we can use to cook a Nigerian dish for ourselves. Assuming we don't know how to cook a dish and we don't have an idea of the list, but we only have an idea of what we want to cook. For example, I want to cook a Nigerian dish with goat meat, but can you give me some options? Maybe let's say 10 dishes as options. So let me type in here. I want to cook a Nigerian dish with goat meat. Can you give me 10 options, 10 dishes as options? And we just hit enter. This could be any kind of dish. It could be Malaysian dish. It could be Iranian dish or anything. So you can say, sure, here are 10 Nigerian dishes that can be made with goat meat. Suya, a four-year-old Aston pepper soup. Nkobi, SEO, goat meat stew, and ayamase. Fried rice with goat meat. Jollof rice with goat meat. So I think from here, I can say, let me say I've selected the last two options. I don't have to even mention that I'm selecting the fried rice and the jollof rice. And it's going to give me a list of the shopping, list of the items that I can go to the shop and buy, prepare a Nigerian fried rice and a Nigerian jollof rice with goat meat. So let me give it this content. Can I have the shopping list? Can I have the shopping list for the last two options? And because it's still part of the same conversation, it's going to understand that the last two options are the fried rice and the jollof rice. So take a look. You see an error has occurred. So when things like this occur, you can refresh or regenerate a response because usually it can be an internet problem or something. Okay, so let's say, can, we, can I have the shopping list for the last two options? You see, sure. Yeah, the shopping list for the last two. Fried rice. See? All right, you can see two cups of mixed vegetables, tablespoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of salt. You can see now this is for jollof rice. You can see all the ingredients that I'm going to need to buy to come and cook my jollof rice with goat meat. So you can see the effectiveness and you can see how interesting this tool is. You may also want to pick up additional seasonings or spices you can see it's giving me more options if you want to get additional seasons or spices you can just add it ask it to provide all that and it's going to provide for you you can just uh, prompt it you say can you give additional seasonings and spices okay so let's see and let's see what is going to happen sure here are some additional seasons and spices and so it's going to give you the list for fried rice this is it you can see the list in fact i think i have never seen some of them i've seen bay leaves i've seen cinnamon but the garlic powder I've seen, and then you can see other ones for the jollof rice. We have hot pepper, ginger, or cumin. I think I've not seen this. Ginger I've seen, fresh herbs, and see so many more. You can give you other options to add. So uh, you can go a bit advanced and tell it to give you these steps. So we can just go ahead and see what are these steps in cooking fried rice with goat meat. What are these steps? So you can see what I see, it's going to give you. Have a great general. Here is a great general recipe for cooking fried rice with goat meat. Recipe for cooking fried rice with goat meat. So you can see them. Ingredients and then steps. Instructions. Okay. So you can see the instructions. Rinse the rice in several changes. Okay. Of water until the water runs clear. And you can see. So a large pot or Dutch oven. Heat the vegetation, the vegetable oil over medium heat. And you can see it's comprehensive steps. Add chicken. Uh, broth and uh, water then you can see drain the soaked salt rice and add it to the pot you can see fluff rice fluff the rice and you can see all these steps you can adjust the quantity of the ingredients and the seasons to suit your test preferences and feel free to add additional ingredients such as scrambled eggs shrimps or nuts for extra flavor and texture you can see this is very very comprehensive and going by this you can see we have written quite a lot for someone who is an, a newcomer or someone who is not even into cooking can learn about the different dishes that there are in Nigeria. They can learn the shopping list that is going to buy and what are the, uh, the key lists or the key ingredients that make up these two choices. And you can go ahead and probe more for other spices and then get the exact steps that you follow to cook that particular meal that you are targeting. So this is the power of AI. This is the power of chat GPT. I think it's a very, very wonderful and fantastic 
development in technology that everyone should embrace. So I think that does it for cooking lists, shopping and cooking in using chat GPT. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.